This series begins with Ko Dong Man and Kim Ju Man, a high school student, who get in trouble for not being able to answer their teacher's questions. Their classmate, Park Mu Bin, is the smartest student in the class and can answer questions with ease. In the same class, there is a beautiful girl named Bo Ram who catches Mu Bin's attention. But she has fallen in love with Dong Man, which Ju Man knows about. Then, he tells Dong Man to accept her love because he thinks it will benefit his friend. Meanwhile, at a different school, Choi A Ra, who is a student broadcaster, asks her teacher for permission to watch a Taekwondo match to support her best friend, Dong Man. Unfortunately, they don't get permission, so A Ra and her friends decide to skip school to watch the match. A Ra is a happy and energetic girl who dreams of becoming an announcer. She often imitates real announcers and carries a microphone with her, which has earned her the nickname the Microphone Girl. One day, she cheered on her childhood best friend Dong Man during a martial arts match and felt very proud when he easily defeated his opponent. As a celebratory gesture, he threw his shirt, but it accidentally hit A Ra as he exclaimed his desire to ask her out. However, A Ra was disappointed to learn that the invitation was meant for Bo Ram, who happened to be watching the match. Feeling jealous, she accidentally nudged Bo Ram, causing her to feel provoked and leading to a physical fight between the two girls. Soon after, Dong Man intervened and thought that Bo Ram had been rude to A Ra because she had scratched her. Years later, A Ra works at an information desk while Dong Man has left the world of martial arts and now works as a bug exterminator. Meanwhile, Ju Man and his girlfriend Baek Solhi are employed at the same company. On the other hand, Solhi works in customer service while Ju Man is an assistant manager in a division. They have been secretly dating for years without their colleagues knowing. One day, A Ra meets with her college rival, Chan Suk, at a cafe to catch up. During the meeting, Chan Suk boasts about the luxury items her partner has given her. Not wanting to be outdone, A Ra tries to talk about the greatness of her own partner until Chan Suk surprises her with a wedding invitation. Later, A Ra receives news from her boyfriend, Kim Moon Ki, that he has failed the prosecutor's exam. Meanwhile, Dong Man goes on a blind date, but the woman dumps him when she finds out he works as an insect exterminator. Shortly after, A Ra calls him and invites him to a restaurant. However, Chan Suk happens to see Dong Man and mistakes him for a doctor, which she has been looking for in a partner. As A Ra and Dong Man arrive at the restaurant, Chan Suk follows them from a distance. When she notices, she asks Dong Man to stroke her head, making Chan Suk jealous and leave. Later that evening, A Ra meets with Moon Ki to give him a new bicycle. But she finds out that Moon Ki is having an affair with a middle aged woman named Yong Suk, who is wearing A Ra's hair tie. Devastated, A Ra gives up on Moon Ki when she realizes that Yong Suk is the owner of the tavern they are in. Unable to find a taxi to take her bicycle, A Ra is forced to go home on Yong Suk's back. In another place, Dong Man comes across his ex coach, Huang Zhang Ho, who is now selling sausages. Zhang Ho has always wanted Dong Man to return to the world of sports, but he is not interested. Meanwhile, Mu Bin, who lives with A Ra, almost crashes into Dong Man, and he pays his respects to Mu Bin's mother, Yong Suk, thinking that she is Moon Ki's mother. However, A Ra informs him that Moon Ki has gotten Yong Suk pregnant and has been using the money given by A Ra to date her. This makes Dong Man furious and he beats up Moon Ki, but Yong Suk chooses to leave Dong Man. <laughs> This is the first time Dong Man loses to a middle-aged woman. A Ra and Dong Man have been good friends since childhood, and she has always supported him through tough times. Despite growing older, they still live close to each other as adults. A Ra has always dreamed of becoming a broadcaster, and Dong Man has always been her biggest supporter. As they grew older, they were still good friends and became close friends, to the extent that they live in the same place as adults. Currently, A Ra lives next door to Dong Man, while Soli lives with her boyfriend, Ju Man. The next day, A Ra acts as if nothing has happened and goes back to her daily routine. She forgets all about Moon Ki and starts pranking Dong Man again. Meanwhile, Ju Man and Sol Yi have to hide from their co-workers so they can talk in private, but their conversation gets cut short when several employees enter the elevator. One of the interns, Zhang Ye Jin, seems to have a crush on Ju Man and doesn't realize he already has a girlfriend. At work, Dong Man gets scolded by his boss because his co-worker, Wu Sig, made a mistake but blamed it on him. Then, he is asked to take responsibility for the mistake, even though it wasn't his fault. 
After work, Dong Man meets up with his colleague, John Kyung Koo, who is about to participate in a quiz at a television station. It turned out, he also joins in, but he gets eliminated in the early rounds. The winner of the quiz is Mu Bin, but when Dong Man tries to greet him as a friend, Mu Bin acts as if he doesn't know him and walks away. There, Dong Man also runs into his ex-girlfriend, Park Hae-run, who is a famous television announcer, but he chooses to avoid her. Meanwhile, as the sun sets, A-ra gets ready to attend Chan Suk's wedding. It's a grand affair with the famous MC Cindy Jung, who unfortunately doesn't show up. Soon after, Chan Suk, the bride, asks A-ra to take Cindy's place as the host. A-ra, who looks stunning in her elegant attire, catches the attention of many men at the event, including Mu Bin and his three friends. They all compete for her attention and even offer to take her home after the party. Meanwhile, Dong Man visits his parents' house and gets into an argument with his father. Ko Yong Sig, his father wants him to become a Taekwondo instructor to make some money, but he refuses. It's not clear why Dong Man is so against martial arts, but he feels frustrated and wonders why he's always expected to work hard while his younger sister, Dong Hee, doesn't have to face the same pressure. Later, Dong Man heads to Zhang Ho's place to distribute the food his parents gave him, but one of Zhang Ho's students named Lee Byung Ju challenges him to a one on one fight. Byung Ju wants to see his abilities firsthand since Zhang Ho has been training him. Despite being confident, Dong Man ends up losing the fight to Byung Ju easily. Meanwhile, Mu Bin forbids A-ra from accepting rides from her three male friends, turning her into a bed among her friends. As a result, he asks her to take the bus home, which makes her feel hurt since she thought the three men were genuinely interested in her. Soon after, A-ra calls Dong Man in tears, asking him to pick her up. However, as they are leaving, the three men confront her and pressure her to accept a ride, causing her to accidentally break the mirror of their car. There, they become violent towards A-ra, but Dong Man arrives just in time to see the altercation and beats up the three men. And that makes Dong Man in police custody, but Zhang Ho is contacted as his emergency contact and praises his strength, saying he can even beat three men on his own, just like he did 10 years ago. After Dong Man's release from the police station, he confides in A-Ra about his feelings of embarrassment towards his life. A decade ago, he had to quit Taekwondo due to an incident that left a deep wound in his heart. Then, A-Ra comforts him, reminding him not to let other people's words bring him down and that success is still possible for him. These words have a profound impact on Dong Man, causing him to hug her while crying and asking her not to be friends with men who play with women. The following day, Heron approaches A-Ra, seeking Dong Man's current address as she plans to reconcile with him after divorcing her husband. However, she declines to provide the address and warns Heron to stay away from Dong Man, stating that he is already married. While at work, A-Ra meets with the broadcasting manager, Kim and gyo expressing her interest in the vacant announcer position. Manager Kim agrees to give her a fair interview, providing her with a chance to prove herself. In another place, Dong Man feels intimidated by Wu Sig once again. Wu Sig forces him to do all the work alone, leaving Dong Man feeling overwhelmed. Suddenly, he receives a phone call from A-Ra, urgently requesting him to come to work. Concerned that it might be an emergency, he rushes to the workplace as fast as he can. However, when he arrives, he discovers that he is only required to record her voice during the broadcast. Meanwhile, Sol Yi is filming a promotional video for food, and she's surprised when she sees Ju Man and Ye Jin having a good time joking around. There, she becomes so distracted that she chokes on the food she's promoting. Witnessing this, Ju Man immediately gives first aid to her by performing artificial respiration. On the other hand, A-Ra notices that a mysterious man has been following her. When the person is about to grab her shoulder, she quickly punches him with her bag. It turns out that the person is Mu Bin, and he has been following her because he wants to give her a present. However, she believes that the gift is part of a bet, so she refuses to accept it. But Mu Bin insists that he genuinely wants to give the gift to her because he has fallen in love with her. In the end, he even asks her out on a date. Meanwhile, Dong Man visits Zhang Ho to ask about the amount of money he can earn by returning to the world of martial arts. Currently, he wants to have a decent job to make his family proud. However, Zhang Ho advises him to stay away from martial arts if money is his only motivation. At the same time, A-Ra shares with her father, Choi Chun Gob, that she will soon become a television announcer. Hearing that, her father is overjoyed and plans to celebrate her success by visiting her. 
On a beautiful night, A-Ra, Sol-Hee and Dong-Man relax on top of a building, while Ju-Man is working overtime at his office. So previously, there was a rumor circulates that the place they live in has new owners, but they have yet to meet the person. And it turned out that a woman named Park Soon-Yang is revealed to be the new owner, who hears strange noises coming from the rooftop, which are actually A-Ra, Dong-Man, and Sol-Hee. On another day, Soli gives Juman a new bag as a gift to help him look more elegant and handsome for his girlfriend. Meanwhile, A-Ra faces the harsh reality that manager Kim has chosen a foreigner as a candidate to fill the vacant announcer position, despite promising her an interview. In the end, both A-Ra and the foreigner will be interviewed by manager Kim. However, it becomes apparent that he prefers the foreigner over A-Ra, despite her being more skilled. During a break, Dong Man checks on A-Ra's interview results, and despite her expression revealing the negative outcome, he tries to console her and lets her cry next to him without anyone noticing. The next day, Zhang Ho asked Dong Man to come to an MMA match. When they arrived, Dong Man was surprised to see that the person fighting was none other than his old rival, Kim Tak Su, who he had fought with in the past. However, things were different now as Tak Su had become a famous and successful MMA player. Ten years ago, Dong Man's parents were approached by Tak Su's parents who made an offer. They promised to pay off all the debts that Dong Man's family owed and also pay for his sister, Dong Hee's, medical treatment if they could persuade Dong Man to give up on Tak Su. But Dong Man's father, Ko Yong Sig, refused the offer without any hesitation. However, Dong Man overheard the conversation and decided to accept the deal. He did this so that his parents wouldn't have to suffer from being in debt anymore. During their final match, he purposely lost to Tak Su, using the opportunity to pay off his family's debts and especially to pay for his sister's treatment. But his sister was not happy with his decision. Besides that, the committee found out that Dong Man had deliberately given in to Tak Su and held him responsible for accepting bribes. Tak Su also deserved to be punished for his part in the scheme, but instead, he went on to become a successful MMA fighter and enjoyed his success. In the present time, after the match ended, Dong Man met Tak Su. However, he believed that Dong Man's presence would bring him bad luck. At first, Dong Man did not respond, but when Tak Su insulted his younger brother, Dong Man became furious and kicked him. Ya Kim Tak Su! What, Kim tak -su? <laughs> Meanwhile, Zhang Ho was leaving and was asked by reporters for a dashboard recording of his car because the fight between Dong Man and tak -su was accidentally recorded by his car dashboard camera. In the recording, Dong Man used his signature technique to defeat tak -su, which is the technique Zhang Ho has been waiting for. On the other hand, Wu Sik scolded Dong Man for being negligent in his work. Dong Man remembered A-Ra's advice that he would succeed in his own way. So he decided to quit his job and return to the world of martial arts by meeting Zhang Ho. At a bus stop, A-Ra was waiting for the bus when Mu Bin suddenly offered her a ride. After arriving in front of her house, she made excuses so Mu Bin did not have to walk her inside. Suddenly, Dong Man appeared and hugged A-Ra, announcing that he would continue his career as a martial artist. This made Mu Bin jealous and he forbid A-Ra from being friends with Dong Man. For the first time, Dong Man interfered in her romance and did not want her to date Mu Bin. On the other hand, Ju Man invited Sol Hee to stop by a clothing store for shopping, but she felt bad because the clothes were too expensive. However, Ju Man wanted to give the best for her and thought her appearance was too cheap. He didn't want Sol Hee to be belittled by others because she was the key to his success. However, his words offended her and she immediately left him. At that moment, Ye Jin came to give Ju Man a lift and kept trying to approach him, even though he responded indifferently. Meanwhile, A-Ra disagreed with Dong Man's decision to quit his job and become an athlete. She couldn't bear to see him getting beaten up, so she told him to find another job. Suddenly, he grabbed her hand and asked her not to hang out with Mu Bin. This made her think that Dong Man's attitude was too childish. The next day, Ju Man apologized for his behavior and solely forgave him. They made up again. At the same time, Heron came to Dong Man's house to visit, but before pressing the button, Ju Man and Soli accidentally saw her. They immediately called A Ra to kick Heron out. In the past, Heron often left Dong Man for someone richer and always returned to him when she was dumped by the rich man. Therefore, Sol Hee and Ju Man forbade Heron from approaching Dong Man again. When he saw Heron in front of his house, he became silent. After meeting him, she intended to leave and would contact him later. The scene switches to when A-Ra finds out that the video of the fight between Dong Man and Tak Su has spread like wildfire on social media. Then, she bumps into Dong Man, who is with Zhang Ho, and tells Zhang Ho off for encouraging Dong Man to return to fighting. She warns him not to go back to martial arts and arranges to meet him for lunch later. 
Meanwhile, Taksu is outraged by the video's popularity on social media. As if that wasn't bad enough, he gets bombarded with requests for a rematch with Dong Man. His manager, Yang Taehee, suggests that they start preparing for a rematch against Dong Man. At the same time, Dong Man also hears about the rematch request and asks Zhang Ho for permission to accept the challenge. However, Zhang Ho refuses on the grounds that Dong Man is not ready for the match. However, Taehee turns up and tries to persuade him to take part in an amateur match first so he can catch up with Tak Su later. Taehee also reveals that he has left Tak Su's team and wants to help Dong Man succeed, but Zhang Ho doesn't trust him and rejects his offer. On the other hand, manager Kim apologizes to A-Ra for not being able to make her an announcer in the company. A-Ra then asks him to introduce her to the head of security. She suggests Dong Man become a security guard because she thinks it's a good job for him. There, she is determined to stop Dong Man from returning to martial arts. Soon after, Dong Man arrives at A-Ra's workplace as she asked. But while they're there, A-Ra sees a visitor who had stolen a watch. When confronted, the visitor threatens her, saying they are a VIP customer. Shortly after, manager Kim takes them to his room, where he orders A-Ra to apologize for the incident. The customer will forgive her if she kneels before them. This situation upsets Dong Man, and he asks her to quit working there. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Soli discovers that Ye Jin sends messages to Ju Man often, even though he doesn't respond. This makes her jealous. One day, Soli helps A Ra get ready for a date with Mu Bin. Then, Dong Man warns her not to come home too late, or he will tell their father. While leaving, A Ra meets Soon Yang, the new owner of the place, who demands that A Ra pay the rent immediately. There, A Ra has to give all her money to Soon Yang on the spot. During the date with Mu Bin at a restaurant, she tries to be charming by flipping her hair, but Mu Bin mistakenly thinks she has a neck problem. Meanwhile, Tak Su confronts Dong Man at the practice site. Tak Su's father is afraid that the events of 10 years ago will be revealed in the media. He offers Dong Man a job as a manager at his company if he keeps the incident a secret. However, Dong Man declines the offer. On the other hand, as Mu Bin admires A Ra's beauty, he assumes that she looks just like her mother, but her memories of her mother are unpleasant, as she was abandoned by her when she was young. Meanwhile, Dong Man meets Taehee in secret to discuss his upcoming amateur fight, without Zhang Ho's knowledge. Later, he asks A Ra to come and watch his match, and if he wins, he plans to make her his manager. However, things don't go as planned as Dong Man is unable to put up a fight and gets badly beaten. Fight! It turns out that the match was rigged against him, and Taehee plans to release footage of the fight to clear Taksu's name. At that time, Dong Man got beaten up really badly, so much so that he needed to be rushed to the hospital for treatment. There, A Ra was very upset about what happened to him and couldn't stop crying. Soon after, Heron arrived and demanded that A Ra leave, but Dong Man held onto her hand and told Heron to leave his life. After being released from the hospital and heading home, Dong Man ran into Zhang Ho on the street. Despite Dong Man participating in amateur fights without his permission, Zhang Ho was still proud of him and supported him. Zhang Ho then revealed that Dong Man's previous fight was a trap, and that his opponent was actually the son of UFC legend Carlos from Brazil. After the fight, his son suffered a broken rib from a punch by Dong Man and ordered his associate, Tak Su, to stay away from him. The next day, A Ra received news that she passed the first stage to become an announcer at KBC station and was set to participate in an interview session. Dong Man was very happy to hear about her success. On the other hand, Sol Yi was going to attend a baby party that Ju Man's family was having, but her mother couldn't give her a ride there. Meanwhile, Heron visited A Ra's house to let her know that she will reconcile with Dong Man. However, she also thinks that A Ra is a sad person because she will always just be Dong Man's friend. Shortly after, Dong Man called A Ra from outside and Heron met him again. After hearing about Heron's divorce, Dong Man felt sympathy but didn't want to go through the same situation he did five years ago when she left him for someone wealthier. Meanwhile, Ju Man noticed Ye Jin struggling with some work, which reminded him of Sol Hee when she first started working. Then, he helped Ye Jin fix the broken copier, but she misunderstood and impulsively kissed him. The next day, A Ra had a meeting with Mu Bin and asked Dong Ma not to interfere in her business before leaving. 
Meanwhile, Soli received mistreatment from Juman's family at the baby party. They asked her to clean while they had fun and even talked about her being the daughter of a joke ball seller. At that moment, Soli's mother, Gumbok, overheard the conversation and immediately sent a message to Juman to stay away from Solhi. However, realizing that the message would hurt her daughter, Gumbok told him to be kind and rushed after Solhi who was feeling lonely. Soon after, Juman arrived at the scene where Solhi was cleaning up the trash by herself. He was infuriated because his family was not respecting her. Although his family disapproved of their relationship, he refused to marry anyone else besides Solhi because she was the only one who supported him when his family didn't care. Meanwhile, Aira returned home with Mu Bin who gave her a gift. Then, she invited him to her place, but she suddenly fell ill and fainted. At that moment, Soon Young witnessed the incident and took Aira to the hospital. When Aira regained consciousness, Mu Bin expressed his feelings for her with sweet words and they shared a kiss. However, Dong Man, who heard about her fainting, arrived at the hospital and saw them kissing. He scolded Mu Bin for being jealous and didn't want Aira to be in a relationship with him. When Aira asked Dong Man if he liked herself, he tried to avoid the question. Frustrated by his indecisive attitude, Aira revealed that she was dating Mu Bin. The next day, Taksu, he discovers that the media is talking about his rivalry with Dong Ma, and he urges Taehee to do everything possible to improve his image. Meanwhile, Mrs. Na, the owner of a martial arts studio, demands immediate rent payment from Zhang Ho, which leads Byung Ju to despise Dong Ma. There, he believes that coach Zhang Ho wasted all his money on unsold sausages to get close to Dong Ma. On the other hand, Aira and Mu Bin celebrate their first day by going on a date, but Mu Bin has to leave for a while when one of his managers shows up. Soon after, his friend approaches Aira and apologizes for an incident that happened a few days ago, and invites her to accompany Mu Bin to a seminar party the next day at 6 p.m. Afterward, Aira and Mu Bin then watch a movie at the drive-in cinema. Suddenly, Dong Man calls Aira to ask where the salt is, and upon learning that Mu Bin's with her, Dong Man immediately invites Zhang Ho to follow them to the drive-in cinema because he believes that it's a place where couples engage in indecent acts. Upon arriving at the location, Dong Man tries to contact Aira but instead comes across Mu Bin who is buying popcorn. Then, he tries to chase Mu Bin, but Mu Bin manages to escape and leave the area. Eventually, Dong Man decides to go home, where he finds Heiran waiting for him. Unfortunately, he doesn't give her a good response. Soon after, Aira and Mu Bin return home and exchange gifts of books and shoes worth 60,000 won before Dong Man interrupts their romantic moment and causes them to argue. The next day, Ju Man receives news that he will soon be appointed as a manager, which he shares with Solhi. However, she has to hide in a cupboard as the room they're in will be used for a meeting. During the meeting, Ye Jin brings up the kiss from a few days ago, which Sol He overhears from the cupboard. Meanwhile, Dong Man accidentally meets one of his ex-girlfriends, Bo Ram, who thanks him for helping her become a grown woman. When she broke up with him several years ago, she started dating Mu Bin. At that time, Mu Bin deliberately takes Bo Ram to Dong Man's workplace to show off that he was able to take something from Dong Man. At that moment, she also reveals that Mu Bin's parents have arranged a marriage for him with a Japanese woman. On the other hand, Aira went to a party with the intention of surprising Mu Bin, but things took a different turn when she saw Mu Bin coming with another woman. To make matters worse, he didn't even acknowledge their relationship and considered Aira as one of his patients. Frustrated and hurt, Mu Bin took Aira to a secluded place to explain his position as he was in an arranged marriage with the daughter of the hotel owner's manager. Though he initially approached Aira with the intention of taking her away from Dong Man, he eventually fell deeply in love with her and even offered to make her his mistress. However, Aira was disappointed and hurt by Mu Bin's actions and immediately returned the shoes he gave her. As she struggled with the pain of yet another broken heart, Dong Man came to her aid. Despite his annoyance towards Aira for always falling for playboys, Dong Man comforted her with a warm hug. However, she was uncomfortable with his gesture and asked him not to act that way, fearing that it could make her fall for him. The day after Aira and Dong Man hug, things between them became so uncomfortable that she even started to pay more attention to how she looked before seeing him. After that, Dong Man invited Aira to his training site, and while there, she criticized Zhang Ho for not having a license. She also invited Byung Ju to fight him because he had been rough with Dong Man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Juman kept trying to explain to Solhi that the kiss with Ye Jin was just an accident. Unexpectedly, Solhi suddenly kissed him near the copier and he forgot about the kiss with Ye Jin. Solhi then asked him to go public with their relationship at the office, but he wasn't ready yet. 
Later, Soli invited Juman to a cafe to warn Ye Jin to stay away from him, but her overly sweet attitude made Sol He uncomfortable, and she chose to endure it, even though Ye Jin kept talking about Juman. Today is Dongman's first match as a professional athlete, but A-Ra doesn't want to go because she's afraid of seeing him get hurt. Besides that, she has to attend an interview session at the KBC office, but she doesn't get a good response due to her lack of education and experience. Meanwhile, Taksu and Taeyi have hatched a plan to take down Dongman by bribing someone to beat him. As the sun set, Soli approached Juman once again to plead with him to publicly declare their relationship. She felt like a secret mistress and wanted to be recognized as his partner. Then, he promised to marry her as soon as he got promoted to manager. After tying the knot, Soli quit her job to pursue her dream of being a blogger. Meanwhile, Dongman had to face off against Byeongju in a match that Taksu had arranged. There, Byeongju had joined forces with Taksu, and the game was set up so that he could beat Dongman. Heron also surprised the audience by showing up to watch the match. Aira had finally decided to attend as well, but kept her eyes closed throughout the game. Fight! In just 19 seconds, Dong Man managed to defeat Byeongju, who was quickly surrounded by Zhang Ho and other fans who were impressed with his performance. After the match, Dong Man approached A Ra and confessed that he also felt his heart flutter whenever he was with her. But before they could continue their conversation, Zhang Ho arrived and held his hand, moved by the match he had just witnessed. On the other hand, Ye Jin finally discovered Ju Man and Sol He's secret relationship. Meanwhile, the news of Dongman's victory spread like wildfire online, which made Taksu more determined to train harder to avoid being beaten by him in the future. At that time, he was surprised to see how much money he had earned from the match, and he immediately sent some of it to his parents. He also bought a gift for his sister Donghee and gave some of his wages to Zhang Ho as well. As the sun sets, Dongman calls his friends to meet up. He generously gives gifts to Ju Man, Sol He, and even a ring to A-Ra. The following day, A-Ra attends a second job interview, but to her surprise, she encounters Heron again who makes disparaging comments towards her. Despite this, A-Ra stands her ground and refuses to let their hurtful words bring her down. When she is about to leave, Heron tries to put her down once more, but this only fuels her motivation to become a successful broadcaster. She calls Dong Man and heads to Dong Chon. Meanwhile, Sol He is devastated to see Ju Man and Ye Jin appearing together as a couple for their product promotion. In a fit of frustration, she rushes to the shooting location and eats the sponsored product. Surprisingly, the incident boosts the product sales, and one of the owners of the company even comes to thank them for their hard work. There, Ju Man finally reveals his six-year-long relationship with Sol He to Ye Jin and asks her to respect their relationship. On the other hand, Dong Man performs at a rock festival in Dong Chon, but unfortunately, only a few people show up to witness the event. The MC ends up vomiting due to drinking too much Sajo. As a solution, Dong Man suggests A Ra replace the MC, and her lively performance revives the atmosphere. A Ra's father, Mr. Choi, even comes to watch her perform as the main host at the festival. At night, A Ra's friends threw a party to thank her for helping the festival go smoothly. There, Dong Man had a little too much to drink and had to help A Ra to her room. However, he didn't want to go back to his own room because there was a gross and scary cockroach there. Since they had shared a bed before, Dong Man assumed it was okay to do so again, even though it made A Ra uncomfortable. In the middle of the night, she kept looking at him and even tried to kiss him. The next morning, she unknowingly hugged him, which made Dong Man feel stiff, and they ended up kissing. The following day, Mr. Choi came to the Donchun Festival and asked Zhang Ho to take him to meet A Ra. Sunyan was also there and asked the receptionist to call A Ra because Mr. Choi had arrived. When Mr. Choi entered the room, he saw Dong Man sleeping there with A Ra, and he became very angry. He asked Dong Man to talk to him alone and then started beating him up. Meanwhile, Kyung Koo met with the festival committee to ask for permission to cover the event and write a story about Dong Man. Meanwhile, Soon Yang coincidentally runs into Zhang Ho, and they end up having a meal together at a nearby tavern. During their conversation, she expresses her distress about Dong Man and A Ra sleeping together. At the same time, Taehee comes to the festival to meet with Han Du Ho, one of Dong Man's trainers who specializes in locking techniques. Then, he invites Du Ho to join Taksu by offering him a very high salary, but this makes Du Ho worried because he is not financially stable and he is also hesitant to leave Zhang Ho. 
On the other hand, Juman and Solie are once again fighting about his promotion to manager. However, Solie objects to him becoming a manager because it was only because he was promoted by Ye Jin's family, rather than earning it based on his own merits. For her, it doesn't matter if Juman is only an assistant manager as long as he doesn't have to depend on other people's favor to succeed. But he takes offense at her words because he wants to have a successful career so that he can provide a better life for her. Meanwhile, Heiran comes to the Dong Chon Festival to see Dong Man. She even takes over A Ra's role as the host of the festival. She always tries to take everything away from A Ra and doesn't want to see her happy. Eventually, A Ra asks her father to leave the festival because she doesn't want to see him disappointed. However, Mr. Choi believes that everyone has their own struggles in life, and A Ra shouldn't settle for a small stage. There, she vows to perform on a grander stage someday, but the recent incident has left her devastated. Then, she decides to return to Seoul alone to spare Dong Man from seeing her cry. However, However, on her way, A Ra meets Kyung Koo, whom she doesn't have a good relationship with. Then, she warns Kyung Koo to stay away from Dong Man, as he is a journalist who writes false news for money. He changes his mind about going back to Seoul and stays with Kyung Koo instead. Meanwhile, Sol Hee and Ju Man's relationship is starting to falter. Her parents have warned Ju Man about his mistreatment of their daughter, and the couple is constantly arguing over trivial things. These issues have caused him to slowly change. That night, Ye Jin continues to send messages to Ju Man, promising to wait for him and not go home until he arrives. Ju Man lies to Soli about meeting a male co-worker and goes to see Ye Jin instead. At that time, Soli accidentally sees them, and the confrontation that follows ends with Ye Jin threatening to take Ju Man away from her. This incident devastates Sol Hee and makes her doubt Ju Man's loyalty. On the other hand, Heiran tries to rekindle her relationship with Dong Man, but he is in love with A Ra now. When she tries to make A Ra jealous by kissing Dong Man, he instead kisses A Ra in front of her. From that moment on, Dong Man and A Ra begin dating but keep their relationship a secret from Sol Hee and Ju Man. Meanwhile, Heiran decides to rent a place above Dong Man's apartment and threatens to become his best friend, replacing A Ra. Meanwhile, Ju Man and Sol Hee's relationship continues to deteriorate due to her overly kind nature, which makes him feel like the bad person in their relationship. On the other hand, at the practice site, Zhang Ho trains Dong Man seriously, leading to a confrontation with A Ra. <laughs> There, Dong Man will finally enter a UFC tournament, but to his surprise, he will face Du Ho, one of his own coaches who sided with Tak Su. After losing to Dong Man, even Byung Ju joined his supporters, causing Tak Su's coach, Choi Won Bo, to feel ashamed. As Tak Su's trainer, Choi Won Bo apologized to Zhang Ho for Tak Su's cheating. Despite this, Zhang Ho forgave Tak Su and requested that Du Ho treat him kindly. At that moment, Du Ho revealed that he had switched sides because he was struggling financially and had to side with Tak Su. He also asked Dong Man to look after coach Zhang Ho. Before leaving, Dong Man told Zhang Ho about his relationship with A Ra, which surprised Zhang Ho, who thought he was dating A Ra because he owed her money. The next day, A Ra, Sol Hee, and Ju Man came to support Dong Man. During the match, A Ra became interested in becoming an RFC host and secretly mimicked the host's style. Later, she tried to stop Kyung Koo from interviewing Dong Man and found a vacancy as an RFC host. Soon after, the match between Dong Man and Du Ho began, and Dong Man held back his punches because he didn't want to hurt his former teammate. There, Du Ho felt humiliated and asked him to fight more seriously, which he eventually did, resulting in a victory for Dong Man. At that time, Dong Yi feels really happy when Dong Man wins his fight. Even though their parents don't know that Dong Man is back in the world of martial arts. Before this, his mother had asked Mr. Ko to help fix their relationship, but he was too embarrassed to do it, so he refused. In the evening, Zhang Ho goes back to selling sausages and by chance, he meets Sun Yang. They sit down together and share their stories. Sun Yang used to live in Japan, but she came back to Korea to look for her child. 
On the other hand, Dong Man's previous opponent, Wonbo, watches him fight and suggests that Taksu should fight Dong Man next. He thinks Dong Man is weak when it comes to ground attacks. The next day, Aira meets Sunyang's adopted son, Namil. Unfortunately, their first meeting doesn't go well because he seems very annoying. One night, Juman receives a call from Ye Jin asking for his help. On their way home, he tells her to stop pursuing him, and it makes her feel sad. When they reach Ye Jin's apartment, Juman sees that she has a lot of heavy things to carry. He can't bear to see her struggling, so he helps her carry them inside. However, Ye Jin's mother unexpectedly shows up, so Juman has to hide to avoid getting caught. Meanwhile, Dong Man and Aira are angry with Soon Yang because she caught them making out on the rooftop. Instead of giving up, they continue their intimacy in Dong Man's place. At the same time, Sol He keeps trying to contact Ju Man, but he doesn't answer. It turns out that he has fallen asleep while waiting for Ye Jin's mother who never arrived. The next day, Sol He visits Aira at Dong Man's place because Ju Man didn't come home all night. She tells Aira about Ye Jin, who is currently in the middle of a relationship with Ju Man. Then, Aira invites Soli to come along to Ye Jin's apartment, as she is sure that Ju Man is there. However, they don't know which room is Ye Jin's, so they decide to wait for her. There, Aira advises Soli to leave Ju Man if he is really having an affair, but she believes that Ju Man would never cheat on her. Soon after, Ju Man wakes up to find out that Soli has called him 42 times. But he is shocked when Ye Jin lies and tells him that they slept together and that he was the one who initiated it. Obviously, he doesn't believe her and he leaves. Later, Juman runs into Solhi and Aira in front of Ye Jin's apartment building. As they are talking, Ye Jin shows up with Juman's socks that he had left behind. At this point, Solhi decides to end her relationship with him without giving him a chance to explain himself. Meanwhile, Taksu holds a press conference to discuss his previous match against Dong Man. He admits to giving money to Dong Man's younger sister for treatment, but this money was considered a bribe. There, Taksu tries to act like a victim in the incident and opposes Dong Man's rematch to improve his own reputation. But Dong Man and Zhang Ho, who witnessed the press conference, are not provoked by his challenge. At that time, Dong Man promises to train harder to defeat him in the next season. Soon after, Aira also learns about this challenge and begs Dong Man not to fight Taksu again, either now or in the next season. But Dong Man refuses, determined to beat him in the next match. The scene shifts to Mr. Ko, who comes to visit his son Dong Man. Unfortunately, Dong Man finds his father to be bothersome, and every time they meet, they end up arguing. Meanwhile, Ju Man and Sol He's relationship is now over for good. At that moment, she has returned all of his gifts and refuses to accept any apologies from him. There, Aira agrees with her decision to leave Juman, who cheated on her. However, she feels bad for being too harsh on him. Later in the evening, Dong Man's mother informs him that Mr. Ko spent 1 million won at a bar. Concerned, he goes to investigate and discovers that his father spent the money to buy drinks for his boss. Despite his boss's promise to reimburse him, he instead berates Mr. Ko with hurtful words. Dong Man witnesses the incident and realizes how hard his father has worked to provide for his family. Eventually, Dong Man invites his father to the rooftop for a drink. This marks the first time they sit down and have an honest conversation, which helps to improve their relationship. Aira joins them, making the evening even more enjoyable. The following day, Dong Man takes his father to his practice and tells him that he has returned to sports. Mr. Ko is very supportive of Dong Man, as he wants his son to live his life doing what he loves. Unfortunately, Dong Man had to give up his dream of becoming a fighter due to his failed business and had to take care of his younger sister. This caused Mr. Ko a lot of burden and sadness. During that time, he regretted not pursuing his dream of becoming a pilot. Dong Man's decision to follow his dreams makes Mr. Ko very happy. Meanwhile, Ye Jin apologizes to Sol He for what happened the previous night at the office. She feels guilty about Ju Man and Sol He's situation, but she confesses that she loves him deeply. Sol He, feeling upset, pours water on her head and hopes that one day Ye Jin will feel the pain of a third party situation and experience heartbreak. One night, Ju Man gives Sol He a doll as a gesture of apology. It is then that she tells him that she plans to quit the office. This news worries him. The next day, Juman's mother visits him and thinks that he and Solhi's relationship is still going well. At the same time, Solhi's mother also visits her. When they run into each other while leaving for work, it becomes awkward. Who notices the situation, arranges a meeting to discuss Solhi and Juman's marriage. Unfortunately, Juman announces that their relationship has ended. Afterwards, Goombok accidentally runs into Sunyang and discovers that they know each other. Soon after, Aira and Dong Man brought Soon Yang home since he wasn't feeling well after his surgery. While they were at his house, Aira found a picture of Soon Yang holding a baby that looked familiar to her. It seemed like she knew the baby from somewhere. 
Meanwhile, Goombok told Dong Man's mother, Mrs. Ko, that Soon Yang was living with their children. Hearing that, she was surprised and immediately asked her husband, Mr. Ko, if he knew anything about it. However, he didn't have any idea either. So, he contacted Mr. Choi to inform him about Soon Yang's whereabouts. At the same time, Namil realized that Soon Yang's biological child was living in the same place. He advised Soon Yang to stop thinking about the child. While Dong Man was practicing, he got a pleasant surprise as John Carlos, the UFC legend from Brazil, appeared suddenly. He had come to South Korea to train Dong Man's ground fighting techniques for two months. On the other hand, Tak Su had a plan to bribe the UFC committee so he could beat Dong Man. However, it turned out that the UFC was very difficult to bribe, and this action made Coach Won Bo angry enough to consider resigning. On a day when Seoul he was feeling tired, she decided to treat herself to some delicious food. It was then that she unexpectedly bumped into her colleague, Chan Ho, who asked her to keep a secret from their co-workers that he had gone to the salon. He also complimented Soli's beauty, which made Ju Man feel jealous. Later, Ju Man invited Ye Jin to have a drink with him and revealed that he had been kind to her because she reminded him of Seoul He's carelessness. However, he could never love her like he loved Seoul He. Meanwhile, Dong Man had to practice extra hard with Carlos due to the language barrier. As a result, he suffered bruises, but he refused to stop training even after A Ra forbade him from fighting. <laughs> A-Ra then received good news from KBC that she had made it to the next selection, despite having messed up during the interview. Soon after, Soon Kyung Koo came to visit her, but A-Ra rejected him because she believed he was still the same as before. Kyung Koo then decided to broadcast news about Dong Man without permission. At night, Soon Yang kept looking at an old photo of A Ra, Dong Man, and Sol Hee. Suddenly, Mr. Ko came to ask Soon Yang why he had returned to Korea. Before he could answer, Mr. Choi arrived with the same question. Not long after, A Ra and Dong Man also arrived to deliver food, but Mr. Ko and Mr. Choi hid to avoid being seen by their children. However, they overheard their conversation and searched for the source of the sound, which turned out to be Mr. Ko and Mr. Choi hiding in a cupboard. Then, A Ra asked them to come out as it was a violation of privacy, but she suspected that they were hiding Soon Yang's lover. After the incident, Mr. Ko and Mr. Choi finally came out of hiding and revealed that Namil was Soon Yang's adopted son. Meanwhile, Namil found a photo album and a cell phone that contained a big secret. The following day, Dong Man had a match against Tak Su, and everyone was surprised to see John Carlos supporting Dong Man. Then, Tak Su asked Taeyi to do anything to make Dong Man lose, but even Wu Bu got annoyed with his tactics and walked away. At the same time, A Ra received two interview offers from KBC and UFC, but she chose UFC so she could stay close to Dong Man. A Ra, with her exceptional speaking abilities, was accepted as a UFC announcer. Suddenly, Heron arrived for an interview too. However, the director didn't make his decision based on titles and fame, but on the quality of the candidates. Thus, Heron was asked to audition first, whereas A Ra was chosen directly. As a result, A Ra had the opportunity to work officially as an announcer at the event, while Heron left feeling disappointed. During this time, A Ra overheard some staff members talking about Hei Run's difficult situation, as she had gone through a rough time after her divorce and was struggling to find a job. Meanwhile, Dong Man shared his relationship with A Ra with Sol Hee and asked if he could stay at her place. On the other hand, Soon Yang met Zhang Ho and gave him an old phone that contained a secret, instructing him to keep it safe. On a different day, Ye Jin and Sol Hee met at a cafe where she told Sol Hee that during a drinking session with Ju Man, he kept mentioning Sol Hee. She then gave Sol Hee a painting of her and Ju Man as a way of apologizing for the role she played in their ruined relationship. Later that evening, Sol Hee was out for dinner with her colleagues when a maid accidentally spilled charcoal on her. Then, Ju Man quickly rushed to her aid and ended up injuring his back in the process. Meanwhile, A Ra announced the match between Dong Man and Tak Su. Although nervous, she watched as Dong Man dominated the match until Tak Su deliberately caused him to bleed and the referee stopped the match. There, he pleaded to continue, but Tak Su fainted due to the impact and was taken to the hospital. This incident made A Ra angry at Dong Man for always making her worry. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this?
왜다 조용하냐고 해! 왜! <웃음> Suddenly, Dong Man lost his hearing and was taken to the hospital where he was diagnosed with a mild concussion. Fortunately, he was expected to recover in a few weeks, and A Ra felt relieved that it wasn't anything more serious. Soon after, Sol Yi went to Ju Man's place to help him with his wound, which made her cry. There, he admitted that he would always wait for her and would even get her to protect her. But Sol Yi couldn't forgive him for what he did, thinking that his wound was a punishment. Meanwhile, after the incident with Dong Man, he slept for days, but A Ra stayed by his side and took care of him. On the other hand, Ju Man gave Sol Yi a gift as an apology, but she refused. However, he wouldn't give up on her as he loved her deeply and would never marry another woman. Finally, Dong Man woke up from his deep sleep and his condition had improved, so he could hear again. Meanwhile, Soon Yang went to the TV station to meet with manager Kang. There, he immediately apologized for something that happened 20 years ago. Back then, he had ruined Soon Yang's life by releasing news about Soon Yang having a child out of wedlock, which destroyed his family and career. Then, Soon Yang asked for the opportunity to check the upcoming news about Dong Man, as the tape had not yet been aired, as a way for manager Kang to make up for his past mistake. On the other hand, Dong Man and A Ra are spending time together, but he has a small fracture in his skull from a previous incident. If he keeps getting hit in the same spot, he may lose his hearing permanently, which worries A Ra greatly. She doesn't want him to get hurt anymore, so she forbids him from fighting and threatens to end their relationship if he doesn't listen to her. While at home, A Ra hears some commotion coming from Heiran's place. There, Heiran was struggling to change a light bulb, so A Ra offers to help. She also discovers that Heiran has some unpaid bills, which leads her to believe that Heiran moved in because of financial troubles and not because of Dong Man. Meanwhile, Dong Man meets with Kyung Koo, who refuses to withdraw the video interview and even recorded the clash between him and Tak Su. This news causes many people to believe that Tak Su purposely injured Dong Man to avoid fighting him. Kyung Koo also informs Dong Man about Soon Young, who checked the news before airing it. However, this news worries Mrs. Ko. And when Dong Yi sees the news, she asks her father to take her to meet Dong Man. On the flip side, Ju Man's mom encounters Sol Hee and urges her to reconcile with Ju Man, as she does not want them to break up. She assures Soli that she will protect her from Ju Man's meddlesome family. However, despite her persuasion, Soli still declines. Meanwhile, A Ra prepares a scrumptious meal for Soon Yang, using a recipe passed down from her mother. Unfortunately, Soon Yang becomes enraged and orders her to leave. This causes her to feel perplexed and hurt. Two decades ago, she was cast out of her home by her grandmother after a scandalous rumor spread about her. She was then forced to flee to Japan, but before she left, she visited A Ra one last time and entrusted her with Dong Man. Namil, who witnessed Soon Young's sorrow, encouraged her to return to Japan. It was Namil, not A Ra, who remained by Soon Young's side during his bankruptcy. Elsewhere, Dong Yi pays a visit to Dong Man at his training place. She hands over an album containing photos of him and implores him not to repeat the failure he faced a decade ago as it would make her very sad. Later that evening, Dong Man meets Soon Yang at his home and realizes that Soon Yang is actually A Ra's biological mother who had entrusted her with his protection. Subsequently, he meets A Ra and announces his decision to have a rematch with Tak Su. However, this causes her to end their relationship as she cannot handle the worry that comes with watching him fighting. Despite the difficulty of her decision, A Ra chooses to separate and hopes to never rekindle their relationship. One morning, while making plum wine, Soli begins to miss being with both Dong Man and Ju Man. Meanwhile, Ju Man is struggling to adjust to cooking alone after parting ways with Soli. Nonetheless, he still makes food for Soli but she refuses to accept it. Eventually, he requests to speak to her alone and reveals that he has purchased a new car and intends to travel to work with her. At first, she refuses but later relents after realizing that Ju Man can't drive. Meanwhile, A Ra's demeanor towards Dong Man is extremely cold, causing him to feel uncomfortable as they have not spoken for two weeks. Later, she visits Soon Yang's house and stumbles upon a very familiar doll. As a child, A Ra had once complained about not having a mother and had asked Mr. Choi to help her locate her mother. Unfortunately, Mr. Choi lied and told her that her mother had passed away. On Christmas Day, she would create dolls and letter gifts for her mother, just like her classmates at school. Suddenly, A Ra realizes that Soon Yang is her mother. But when Soon Yang tries to explain everything, A Ra thinks that her mother abandoned her. Although she remembers that her mother is still alive, she knows that she will never see her again. After this, Soon Yang thinks that there is no chance left to be with A Ra. So, she goes back to Japan and tells Namil to take the cell phone he left for Zhang Ho. However, the phone contains a photo of A Ra and her. Namil then gives the phone to A Ra and tells her that Soon Yang never stopped thinking about her. All these years, A Ra was always on her mind. Even though they were far apart and had never met, a mother's love never fades. 
Aira then meets Mr. Choi to explain everything, and he tells her that Soon Young has always been present at her school events. He also asks her not to hate Soon Young, because she has been supporting their living expenses. Slowly, she starts to accept Soon Young as her mother, and even changes her contact name to Mother. Meanwhile, Dong Man will be busy with intense rehearsals for the next two months, so he asks Aira to wait for him and not go on any dates. Meanwhile, Soli feels lonely without a partner and decides to start a plum wine business to keep herself occupied. For the next two months, Juman kept apologizing to Solhee, but she still did not accept his request. Meanwhile, Dong Man continued to receive hard training from John Carlos, who only taught him three finishing techniques. At that time, he had to choose one of these techniques to win the match. After discovering the secret on his mother's cell phone, Namil apologized for his prejudice. He was afraid that Soon Yang would leave him after meeting A Ra. Eventually, he returned to Japan alone and asked her to stay in Korea longer to spend time with A Ra. Soon after, Ride of the rematch between Dong Man and Tak Su had finally arrived, and the competition was intense. <laughs> There, Taksu repeatedly tried to provoke him, but it was all in vain. In the end, he managed to beat Taksu with his top move, making everyone around him feel proud of his victory. Fight! After the match, Dong Man was filled with a strong feeling that he couldn't live without a Ra by his side. He had a deep desire to spend the rest of his life with her as his wife. Meanwhile, Ju Man's attempt to kiss Sol He caused quite a commotion, resulting in him getting punched. Despite the occasional urge to hit him, Sol He still loved him and their relationship finally got back on track. On the rooftop, a Ra met with Soon Young and they had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Soon after, Heron decided to leave after finding out that Dong Man and Aira were getting married. She began to accept the fact that he was moving on and prayed for their happiness. Then, Dong Man decided to start his own business, while Jong Ha found himself falling in love with Soon Yang as they spent more time together. Eventually, the series ends with Dong Man and Aira reunited and enjoying a beautiful evening before their upcoming wedding the next day. The moral lesson of this series is that life is full of unexpected twists and turns, and sometimes things don't go as planned but we should always stay true to our values and keep moving forward.